What's up, everybody? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with a very special Diecast review. And by special, I mean very special, because later on in this video, guys, uh, we're going to be uh, joining in with my good buddy, Derek Lewis. And uh, I, yeah, I mean, uh, let's just say I had to kind of redo this introduction, because uh, I did record uh, the introduction, but apparently it got deleted. So, yeah, this is a little slip-up and a little redo. So, hey, whatever, though, but... Hey, I'm sure my good buddy is already having a good laugh. But today, it's going to be on a very cool diecast that I think my good buddy Derek Lewis is going to like. Because, let's see. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of cool things about this car that I think a lot of people are going to like. Today, it's going to be on Jay McMurray's 2013 Banana Boat Chevrolet SS4. This is a mouthful of a name right here. Earnhardt Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis. Holy crap. My God, that was quite the name right there. But I will say, though, I mean... Uh, the Ganassi fan himself, my good buddy Derek Lewis, definitely love this because he's a big McMurray fan and a big Larson fan. But of course, this was during the time where Larson wasn't in the Cup Series. But hey, still loves those numbers, one in forty-two. Um, yeah, there's Jay McMurray's signature right there, BP, like the gas. <laughs> but really awesome guys. I mean, the orange and blue, and yeah, banana boats. I mean, we are gonna have a fun time reviewing this bad boy. As uh, yeah, once again, I do apologize that this is not the original footage. But hey, you know, you gotta love when uh, shit. It doesn't go right with these reviews. But let's go ahead and unbox the bad boy and let's take a closer look at the J. McMurray 2013 Banana Boat Chevrolet SS. Alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of its box and uh, as my camera is literally just shaking back and forth wobbling this son of a bitch, uh, this is a, <laughs> a really cool looking diecast. You got orange and blue. Hmm, those colors sound familiar. Hmm, when I think of orange and blue, I mean, what, what do we really think? Hmm? <laughs> Idea. I don't know. I mean, it it could stand for probably, I don't know, SU maybe, since I live in Syracuse. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be this motherfucker right here who lives in Colorado, a.k.a. home of the Denver Broncos. So, yeah. <laughs> we got a Broncos fan in this review, so if you don't like it, well, there's the, uh, oh, you can leave now. That's just too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Bills fan. I put up with this shit. Bad in the day, we still won, baby. We still won. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I knew I was going to get so off topic of this review, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put things all off on the table right here and see what my good buddy Lewis has to say about this car because I'm sure he's got a lot of cool things to say about this uh, very cool, awesome, very cool looking car. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just perfect. I mean, man, you can't go wrong with this one. It's the uh, colors and then the old one font before you know, you switch it to the straight font. Yeah, due to a certain, uh, you know, a certain lady that, you know, I would love to say, uh, you know, I'm going to say, it, Teresa the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and her. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I, I have used Banana Boat in the past for sunscreen. That's the go-to. <laughs> I was about to say, I mean, Lewis, how, since we are reviewing a car about sunscreen, I mean, when you're at the games, at the tracks, I mean, it's going to be a little more of a personal question, but we're going to play, uh, we're going to have some shit to go with this. How often do you sunscreen? <laughs> Because <laughs> that can lead into one story of our good pal, Robbie, race day 2011. <laughs> well, there was one time at Dover at the NASCAR race, he didn't put that much sunscreen on. And let's just say the results were pretty promising when I saw him on the next Skype call. Yep, exactly like that. Larry the goddamn lobster. Like, red, red like fucking uh, the Verizon logo. Like, that fucking red, dude. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. But, yeah, like what Lewis said, man, I mean, uh, 2013 was the last year we had the OG number one font because, yeah, you know, that was the last year that, you know, I guess Teresa Earnhardt was okay using the font. After that, she said, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Yeah, that yeah, guy. I remember uh, all the backlash that 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 that, that tw the 2014 car had. I mean, it was already bad enough. It was on a certain mold that you know we don't want to talk about because that is I'll just say it, crap. I'll say it. I'll say it. WLS. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> But this paint scheme is pretty cool, man. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm sure a lot of McMurray fans are going to remember uh, yeah. this paint scheme layout is pretty much just like the Bass Pro Shops car, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a 
That's gotta be one of my all-time favorite Jamie schemes. Definitely, probably in the top five. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I can't agree more. I mean, this this car I think only ran once, which was at Pocono, which was during the summertime. So I can kind of see why Banana Boat <laughs> was sponsored. It was kind of one of those random sponsors that you know, because I I noticed Bass Pro Shops you know, didn't really sponsor with McMurray that much. Uh, what like in his what like third or fourth year with Ganassi, like you can definitely see. You can definitely see, you know, the sponsorship was starting to slide down a little bit, but, um, heck, this was, uh, we had a lot of interesting paint schemes with this one, and, uh, I do remember him driving another orange and blue car at Martinsville, which was, uh, the racing with the uh... insulin car, um, which, any, any car fans out there, you probably know <laughs> what driver that is referring to, Charlie Kimball. <laughs> but, unfortunately, that one was canceled, though, so that kind of sucks, because, heck... Uh, 2013 was the first year I watched IndyCar, and seeing uh, that paint scheme on NASCAR was pretty damn cool, because I was still kind of a, you know, a NASCAR boy. I mean, I still am, but, whew, glad to have IndyCar back, baby. <laughs> this week, baby, this week. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> or whenever the hell I upload this video. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I actually do have Banana Boat, uh, I have a Banana Boat uh, sunscreen actually in my car. I don't know how good it is now, but it's... <laughs> I, I'm just he like uses Lewis. It, he uses it on his forehead. You gotta protect the forehead. Yep, gotta protect that majestic forehead. I mean, that's the reason why I wear hats, just to protect it. <laughs> Who yeah, needs sunscreens okay. when you got hats? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, I mean that, that, that. Don't be fooled by the orange on this camera, guys. It's pretty vibrant and bright. I mean, I think it was even more brighter in person. I think uh, from what I saw from some of the photos on Google. Yeah, I Google shit. Don't judge me. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, this is the only time we ever had a Banana Boat car produced in a diecast form, if I'm not mistaken, for McMurray as well. So, I would totally recommend getting it. It's definitely different, plus also the first year with the Gen 6 car. Boy, don't we feel old yet that this is already, <laughs> that, what, that, 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 that we're going to be entering the next generation. Uh, for that, uh, We're going to be entering the Gen 7 cars for next year. I mean, yeah, 2013, Lewis. I mean, woo! <laughs> Oh my lord! I, it, it, none of us don't feel old after me saying 2013. I don't know what the hell is saying. <laughs> but uh, luckily, I will say this, Lewis: we do not have any quality issues. Uh, luckily, Lionel actually did a pretty good job in the 2013 diecast. Can't say that for the rest of the times. But uh, <laughs> is there anything else you want to say about this car, Lewis? As uh, I don't know. I mean, I would love to ramble on, but heck, uh, as Mr. Krabs would say, time is money. <laughs> I think, we, I think we covered it all on this one. Well, I mean, that is the Broncos Ganassi fan himself, Mr. Derek Lewis. Um, yeah, just a little PSA announcement, guys. But after you watch this review, uh, make sure to go out and use your sunscreen because nobody wants you know, nobody wants to walk home with skin cancer. Anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy, and my good buddy Derek Lewis for coming on board as always. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time on another diecast review. And uh, yeah, lather up.